how did you and Missy get started? Were you friends before she heard your beats? Did you guys go to school? Did you go to rival schools? How did Missy and Timberland come to be? Missy and Timberland came to be because uh, a friend of mine named, um, I think Melvin Newer, which was Magoo. That's Magoo. Okay. Magoo Newer. Magoo's from Portsmouth. Melvin knew Missy, and then this guy named E was working with Missy, mm -hmm. was working with the group. Missy was in a group called Phase E. Okay. They the first one that put out a record from Virginia, so they was like the top notch. Okay. So then Missy and E connected and said, yo, you need to meet this guy named Timberland. And he connected us and came to my mom's house when I stayed in Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. Missy, I had, a, I had was doing just beats like for the play, right. the mix with. Right. But Missy heard the beats and like, no, I'm about to sing over this. And I, that was the first time I got introduced to okay. singing over hip hop beats. Okay. Was through Missy. Right. I didn't know nothing about it. I'm like, you about to do what? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. And she put them harmonies. My life changed. Right. I was like, oh my goodness. This is what I want to do for right. the rest of my life. And then it's like, she just kept like giving me the encouragement, like how dope you was, because then I just stopped, I kind of stopped DJing and I started focusing on beats. Right. So I was like, cause she introduced me to melodies, harmonies. You can write songs. You don't have to just rap on these beats. Right. I'm gonna write songs. And I was sampling old Patrice Russian and making them like dope break beats. Right. And she's like, uh, uh we about to make this a song. And then she started singing and writing. I was like, it was the first, it was, it was like what I was doing elevated to the next level. Right. And she gave you confidence that you could do something more than DJ. She gave you confidence more than you can just produce beats. Because a lot of times someone of Missy, she's like, well, let me go get a more famous producer. Mm -hmm. She took the local kid from Virginia and says, nah, we're going to do this together. I'm leaving and I'm taking you with me. That's exactly how it happened. Devontae, they met, they met Joe to see at uh, a concert. They met him backstage. Devontae said, y'all want to fly y'all out to Jersey. And then Missy said, well, can we fly my producer that I got back home? And that was me. Right. But you so, weren't a producer. She said she yeah, got a producer. Yeah. So she didn't go to Devontae. She said, I got my own. Right. We got our own. So that's how it was. How much pressure is that? Because that's Missy. She said, and they said, well, we got this producer for you. She said, nah, but I got my producer back home. So now this is your opportunity. You know, in, in the uh, uh, Eminem song, you get one shot. Uh -huh. To seize this moment. Mm -hmm. So now that's a lot of pressure. It was, but I wasn't scared of it because <laughs> we had a sound. Right. And Devontae liked them for my sound. Right. And so by him being as great as he is, he knew he came in the game with a sound with his group. Right. So I thank God that he was like, yo, all right, he can come up right. because I want to meet that guy who's doing that. And so it kind of worked because I learned from him. He learned from me. I was, I, we both was young, but I was like a teenager when he was in his 20s. So he was doing his style and I was learning from him because he was, take, he took harmonies and vocals and taught me and Missy how to really like, really expand it. And then my beats was like different for him. So he was like, okay, I'm good at slow song, tempo good at up tempos and mid. Right. So it was a perfect marriage. You know what I'm saying? What's going through your head when you're in the, when you're in the studio with Missy and you guys are gonna come out with this album? Man, you know what's going through my head is I got a job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was going through my head. I got a job. Okay. I'm popping now. Right. You know, because all I wanted was three thousand dollars to help my mama and my parents. You know, that's you know what I'm saying. That's all. That's people, all you wanted. Yeah. That's how. That's what we come from. Right. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I look back at it, it's like wow. Those were the good old days of right. life, you know what I'm saying? Not wanting much and taking little and making it so much, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I was just happy that we got what we wanted, right. which was a deal. It wasn't no pressure on the first album because it was all fun. Okay. It was all, okay. the, the rain, that was all, let's show the people what we got. Okay. That first album, there's no pressure. No pressure. It blows up. Uh huh. The second album. Okay. Impression. Now let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's when Missy took me through the ringer. <laughs> what? Missy would make what well, she always kind of did, but here's what she said. Oh, this is my sophomore album. So she's like, we got to beat what we did. Right. So she was always like a drill sergeant. She would make me go through a hundred beats before she picked one. 
And she'd be like, Tim, that might be dope for Jay-Z or Ludacris, but I got to dance to it. I got to see the video. I got to see how my girl's going to look. So she gave me this whole story. So I was yeah. like, it made me look at my beats different. I was like, so I started like, is this how, how the girl's going to dance to the <laughs> Is this sound? Is she go? Where she go? So she just, you know, right. Missy took, you know, she'll make you, she'll put you up here. Then she'll bring you down. But that's part of being right. great. You know, everything right. that we go through in life when we get our professional job, once you go in the door, right. You know, everybody, LeBron, you got to know how to play with LeBron. And you, once you get on this team, right. you better know how to play. Right. So Missy, like, now we're on this team. Right. Let me show you what Missy's really about. Okay. The fun is over. Now, this is the Missy that, now that I'm in the door. Like, what Missy, you know, this your boy, Tim. You know how we rock. Come on, Missy. Yeah, I your don't boy, your boy. rock that way, Tim. <laughs> 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 so when she say stuff like that, when I, man, she a girl. And every time she told me, I'd be like, my sister, right? Right. But why you just, you take me high and you bring me low. You right. take me high and you right. bring me low. Right. But I enjoy that because it made me who I am today. Right. I don't think I would have all these Jay-Z records, all the hits that I have, right. if I just settle. She made me not settle. Right. We can be hotter, Tim. We can be wow. doper. I mean, you I mean, you look at, I mean, get your freak on and work it. And her songs are so catchy and they're so, you know, you dance. And the, and the thing was in the videos was so futuristic, even for way back then. I mean, she was way, way ahead of her time as far as videos. And you're like, that's, you're like, I mean, do you sit back and like, that's my dude, that's my cold. Oh, I do it all the time. Ah! <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like, people around be like, you know that's dope. It's like you get that head nod, you, right. know, you know what I'm saying? We do yeah. for, we, mm -hmm. yeah. And when she, cause she bring it to life. right? She 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 takes something that I present to her, and she just say, "Watch how I make this blossom." Right. And she just make it blossom. And I'd be like, I just be smiling in the inside. Right. Like I don't know how to show it on the outside, but the inside, I'd be saying all oh, what you saying. When <laughs> when you first met Missy, and you looking at this, she's very small in stature, but her presence is like commanding. She's a she demands that you look at her. She demands that you pay attention to her. Did you think this small, small of a woman could be in what she became? And now, as far as songwriting, she's in the Songwriting Hall of Fame. She's got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That, that's my girl. That's my homie from B.A. Missy is like, who is it? What's it? Is it Oprah from Color Purple? Yeah. That's who Missy is like. Missy is... She's a sink. She comes from a single mom. Okay. Missy, she always had leadership in her. Okay. So when a person has leadership, it doesn't matter how they lead you. Yeah. And Missy was always a great leader. Mm -hmm. So I, I would, I'm not surprised of how big she was because you couldn't just come. Nobody, I don't care who you are, you can't just say anything. Right. Missy, Missy, gonna, she gonna challenge you. If it's wrong, <laughs> she gonna challenge you. Okay. And that was a VA thing. She right. like. You're like, oh, Missy, we should go on top of the moon. You can go on the top of the moon. <laughs> Missy Elliott ain't going on top. And people be like, you know, you know how this, this world is, right. all the entertaining, the right. Hollywood. Oh, you should be. No, that's not she what we do. She's going to march own beat. Mm -hmm. She really sticks to how we was raised right. in the South, and she don't, she don't bend the rules. Right. Other people could be going over there. Missy, Missy ain't going over there. She's very stern, very on point. She has sheer will. And she's going to do what she says she's going to do. So she always had that leadership. And that's what I always admire, admire her about. Because when I broke character, she always stayed in character. Right. So I'm like, man, <laughs> she's amazing. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.